Right now, 20 million Americans are now eligible for the Pfizer COVID-19 booster shots. Well, the CDC says people with pre-existing health conditions that place them at a high risk of COVID-19 are able to get the booster shots. And as Paul Dudley reports, that includes pregnant women if they are fully vaccinated already. Pregnant women who are fully vaccinated are now eligible for the newly authorized Pfizer COVID-19 booster shot. The announcement coming after a pandemic record. Just last month, at least 20 expectant moms died from COVID in the U.S. This includes Bianca Carrington. In an interview with CBS News, her husband Austin says he got vaccinated, but his pregnant wife waited. Within days of being admitted to the hospital, his wife and their baby were gone. The last time she was conscious, she wasn't able to speak. She just took my hands and uh, put them on her belly. And I just, <clears throat> I just said, yeah, I know, I know, I heard. The CDC recently updated its guidance, officially recommending that pregnant women get vaccinated. And now they say they should get the booster shot too. What is your reaction to hearing that news? Well, I think it's, I think it, it recognizes the, um, the seriousness of COVID. Dr. Robert Maupin, OBGYN here at LSU Health, says pregnant women are at an increased risk of complications and even death from COVID-19. He says that both boosters and vaccines offer a level of protection to pregnant moms when they really need it. The course of the disease um, hits much harder when you're pregnant. Uh, and because of that, you know, we want to really avail ourselves of all the options and opportunities for protection. Dr. Moppin says he understands the hesitancy, but says data does not show any additional risk of the vaccine or the booster for pregnant moms. Because again, we're looking at providing protection. Um, if a mom is pregnant and develops COVID, she has a threefold risk of going into the intensive care unit. Um, and she has a, a one and a half time or over one and a half times risk of actual death. But demand could be low. Only about 30% of pregnant women have been fully vaccinated prior to or during pregnancy. Austin says he wishes he and his wife had listened to the experts before it was too late. Now he's raising their first and only son alone. I thought we were playing it safe by not getting the vaccine because of the baby. And uh, now it turns out getting the vaccine would have been the safe bet. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. So here's a list of who's eligible for the booster. The CDC and FDA guidelines say anyone 65 and older who has been fully vaccinated with the shot should get a booster after at least six months. It also recommends a booster for fully vaccinated people 18 through 64 who work in health care or any other job with an increased risk of exposure to COVID. So we're talking about schools and nursing homes. And for, finally, vaccinated people 18 to 64 who have a medical condition that puts them at risk or high risk for severe COVID like obesity, diabetes or pregnancy.